Granular material, or GM, is a collection of distinct macroscopic particles. Some would consider GM to be a new form of matter since not a single phase can fully describe its behavior. It can act as a solid or fluid under certain conditions. Some common examples of GMs are sand, snow, and many basic products in form of powders. Presently, there is still a lot that we do not know about the dynamics of GMs, particularly when they're vibrated. Hi, I am Christian J. P. Magsigay, and my thesis is titled Modified Inelastic Bouncing Ball Model for Vertically Vibrated Monodispersed Grains, Transmissibility and its Dependence on Grain Properties. The Inelastic Bouncing Ball Model, or IBBM, has been used numerous times by previous studies to describe the dynamics of vibrated GMs. It models the GM as a completely inelastic ball on a vibrating plate. However, it was pointed out that it is inadequate in describing real-world GMs. Hence, a modified IBBM is formulated by introducing transmissibility TR, a compact parameter that accounts for the force transmission efficiency since IBBM assumes that force transmission is lossless. Discrete element method simulation is implemented using lights to know more about this new parameter TR. We determine the relationship between TR and the particle size, coefficient of restitution, and Young's modulus. Bifurcation diagrams are constructed by plotting the flight times of the center of mass of the GMs and the dimensionless acceleration of the container. TR is measured in three different ways via the bifurcation point gamma b, critical gamma gamma c, and phase delay. The following are the constructed bifurcation diagrams for varying particle size, coefficient of restitution, and Young's modulus. Generally, TR via gamma b and gamma c have contrasting trends for all grain properties. Also, TR measured via gamma b changes more rapidly than when measured via gamma c. TR via phase delay shows strong and non-monotonic dependence on gamma and cannot be readily compared with the previous two methods. <laughs> by and large, the results suggest that GMs may have to be described by more than one bifurcation diagram, where GMs driven by weak vibration are described by TR via gamma c and for strong vibration, TR via gamma B. Thank you.